The Marine Corps is designed to be expeditionary, so we must be fast, austere, and lethal. And the concepts and capabilities tested during the advanced warfighting experiment will give Marines a leg up in future security environments. What we want to look at is assessing how a special purpose MACAP might be able to command and control multiple dispersed company land teams across a maritime area of operations, whether it's with technology enabler, uh, new organizational constructs, or new TTPs and training. Expeditionary Force 21 has outlined the way and the direction the Marine Corps is headed, and part of that is us being able to operate in the Pacific from the sea base and being able to influence a wide variety of contingencies. It's a uh, pretty interesting, it feels kind of sci-fi, I guess. I thought it was just going to be stumbling around and it would lose its footing just off the road and on any sort of uneven terrain, but it's actually proven to be pretty reliable and pretty rugged. Trying to integrate new technologies, new concepts, uh, new ways of doing business into a, uh, into a company. So we've, we've had our challenges with it, but uh, we've learned a lot. Uh, it's been a lot more successful than I think I anticipated. Ah, help me, help me the Marine Corps is gonna be doing m more company-sized operations. And so we need a smaller medical response, but the, uh, but the austere environment's not gonna change. The lethal nature of the, of, of the engagements isn't gonna change. He's broadcasting the patient's vitals and the, the doc is texting back response. The ER doctor forward gives us the ability to meet the requirements of the fabled golden hour. The ability to get a patient to the table of, a, of an ER doc so, that, so they can do those immediate interventions so they can make it safely to the sea base. The UHAC is one of those experimental technologies that we're looking at as a possible concept capability uh, to look at how we could take our forces in the future and be able to insert them in areas that we wouldn't be able to insert them today based on our current systems that are fielded. I think what we try and do with experimentation is in training you want to push to the boundaries of what you can do and you have to do that so that when you get to that boundary, you can look further and try and figure out how you might innovate outside of that operating box that you're constrained to. And that's where we endeavor to kind of go when we go with experimentation. How do we figure out how we navigate that uncharted space and do it safely? Do it so we can, uh, you know, at the right cost and do it so we can accomplish the mission. And that's what experimentation is about. That's what we're trying to figure out how to do to make our Marines more effective.